Welcome to the Active Trader Setups Tutoring Reference Series where we'll be reviewing uh, charts and exactly tutoring you on how to set those charts up from scratch, what the indicators are on each chart template that's shown over on our Trader Member site under Products. So you go to TraderMembers.com, click on the Products tab, and we have the page set up for our members as well as it's open to the public if you want to learn more about our charts we have each chart outlined each template we have a different section for the futures charts and we're taking each chart one at a time and showing all the indicators that are on the chart telling a little bit about what they tell you showing you where the scanners are located to scan for the inflection points that are shown on these charts as well as at the very end of each of these reference tutoring videos, we will have a step-by-step -step instruction of how to create this chart from scratch with a new chart starting with the data series and then loading the template. That'll be in about the last five minutes of each of these videos that'll be shown right above the chart template on the page. And this will be the name of the video on the YouTube site that's shown right below the the uh, chart template on the page. So it's products page at tradermembers.com. That's open to the public as well. So you want to remember this if you're having to reconstruct a chart or you want to place a chart into a workspace you already have open. You don't have that chart there and you need to build it because you want to start using it in your workspace that you've already got created. You'll go over, find this video, just fast forward over the last five minutes, and it'll show you how to create the, each chart from scratch. And be sure to watch on our YouTube channel. We got the Active Trader Setups Trading Setup Series. It's coming out three and four times a week where we're reviewing actual charts from from the day that's using the chart and the indicator setups that are on that chart to actual use practical application of the indicators on the charts, how you're going to read them and how you're going to react and trade to them. That's an ongoing series uh, for our clients to learn from as well as our guests to learn more about our trading package. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and be watching for that series uh, multiple times a week. This video is brought to you by Active Trader Setups Trading Package, a day trader setups company. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel while you're here and go over to daytradersetups.com. You can find out more about our package under our features area, our registration area, as well as our education and training. We have a YouTube channel page that has links to various videos as well. And then you can go over to our members site. It's called tradermembers.com. Go to the products page, and we have a full listing of reference materials for our traders to to uh, access, but th this page is open to the public. It goes over each of the uh, charts and what they have on them, the indicators, the indications, how to scan for those, and so forth. This video is covering the chart template 10 bar chart trader. And on the tradermembers.com website under the products tab, you will find this listed in the tutorial reference in the video. This video will be linked right here. When we finish the production, it shows you the bar chart trader on the chart. And it's set to a uh, data series, ATS WIC Algo is set to 10. And the daily is on here drawing our daily inflection points. You can change the data series from a 10 to a, a bigger uh, 
setting we already have templates built for that but if you wanted to change it to a bigger one you could do not modify the daily and it features the 10 brick size for quicker entries it's like trading a one minute candle a little smaller bar I would not use it for a trailing stop on these little bars you'll get chopped up but a lot of times when you come right into a line and you want to take a quick entry instead of waiting on the re re uh, reversal on the bigger candles you can do that but you need to set your stop based on the bigger candle size if you use this candle size for your trailing stop one or two bars this little wiggle right here is going to stop you out if you're trying to be long so you want to use your bigger bars for your stops and a lot of a lot of times what i like to do is find this running up and i'm looking on my bigger charts as a re, uh, rejection point an inflection point a rege you know looking for the reversal i will take that trade but a lot of times i'll wait on it to pull back and i'll wait on the first little bounce maybe it goes all the way here maybe it just goes partially there be kind of like if you wanted to go long here if this was a line you'd let it pull back and then take the next one kind of like a little miniature flag pattern the other features on the chart other than the inflection point on the daily is the volume bar up down these are actual volume bars and then our volume alert that gives you the the green and pink uh indicator for the high bars i'll explain that more in the chart so what we have is our 10 brick size algo bars on the with the wick algo it's running up here you can see it comes right into this previous daily area and if you were waiting on a reversal from a 25 wick bar then you would end up about a 50 cent reversal these candles are set to 10 bricks size they will be changing about every five cent each one of these bars we'll get a data box open i'll show you how small they are the low of this bar right here is 94.56 the low of this bar is 94.51 so 56 created this bar 51 created the next bar they're only five cents apart so usually half your brick size will be the candle size generally or how often they're going to change so this is how you could take this bar right here as a reversal and you could actually trade it here by selecting get this bar out of the way box you could say i want to do a short trail now this is programmed to three bars instead of uh, two it's given that extra five cents so that if you get one of these little bars it chops around heads right back up like like right here you get a little bar pull back and then it goes on back up it don't continue down it don't make the next bar by having it programmed to a three bar trail we're taking to uh, alert uh, entry right here when this bar closes and this one opens we're taking an extra bar down and we do that just because this is small we've got that preset pre-programmed in now i'm going to show you how to work with that indicator and we'll go in a lot more detail on this indicator on the 25 chart but it's the same exact workings here's the ATS chart trader this is the nuts and bolts of the active trader setup trading package along with our unique bar and along with our ATS inflection charts you can set a time on this that's 930 to 1600 that's a full that's regular trading hours if you don't want to have any trades prior to 940 if you set this to 940 and then you set this long trail or short trail button on and it's not 940 it won't put an order out there it will override your bad thinking if you set it to 940 you must have set it there for a reason because you know you don't make money on trades before 940 you don't want to get in them 
that's a that's there is a safety mechanism for you and also we have it set up this becomes an auto button on here uh, when you get in the auto trading package and sometimes people want to block that out that was the primary reason also don't like to get in a trade after uh maybe 345 maybe you want to set this to 1545 that way if you've had something on a long trail and it's never triggered and it gets to be quarter to four and you forgot about it it won't send that trade out after that time so that's one of the features in the bar chart trader. We've got videos on nothing but this indicator. So I'm not going to get into a lot of details in the video about setting it. I did want to show you one thing is you have templates on these. You can go to template load and we preset these and pre-saved them. So if you mess this up and you want to get it back like it was, you can say load template, go to 10 chart trader stocks. And it'll bring it right in. We have different ones set up for the ES and scale out on the ES and so forth. You do not have a scale out pre-programmed on the 10. Because I prefer that you run your stops and your scale outs on the bigger chart. But you can make one on the 10 if you're trading smaller ATR stocks. I'm going to cancel that. You can go in and set your scale outs and your number of shares and the profit target you want to take as well as use the hard stops and the scale at the at the scale and so forth just like all the other functionality and remember when you're programming these if you make changes i don't reference that i'm three ticks off the the high this is a long trail so it's looking back two bars up if you're coming down it's a long trail three bars it's set three bars back three cents above it I don't bother putting in the label that is three cents above it. I just have it as a long order three bar trail. Anything you type in this box, when you type it, it puts it up here and it puts it on this button as soon as you hit apply. You can name these anything you want to name them and you can program them any way you want to program them once you understand how they work. The next indicator that's on the chart is down here at the bottom. We'll talk a little bit about your volume alerts. These are here for a visual. They also are used uh, in some of the auto trading. I like to see the reversal with a high bar. So we've got a high five bar high. We got a reversal bar and it's dotted pink line. If it's a five bar high, if it's a solid pink line, it's a 10 bar high. You can see how the big volume came in here that was higher than any of the 10 previous uh, bars. So that's, uh, that's what that's about. So when you got these little tiny volume bars that they get squinched up because the others are large near them, you can see that, hey, that was a, that was a five bar high uh, down bar. That was a, but it's actually a five bar high five bar volume high any bar so that's how that works on any charts and it's on a lot of charts you can see this was a 10 bar high this was a 10 bar high this was a 10 bar high so what does that tell you you got growing volume it's pushing this up harder a lot of times when you've got increasing volume at an extreme upward move or downward move uh, you'll run out of sellers or run out of buyers and you'll get that reversal so that's a little tool there too when you see the quick green bars three in a row you've got three bars in a row with increasing volume that's that's there so at a glance you know what's going on that's everything that's on this chart there's really the only scanners you've got is scanning the inflection points we talked about that in some previous videos we also have videos on the scanners that's where to find out more detail but i'm going to show you just basically where it is it's your ats inflection alert and your ats inflection alert with volume and these alerts will tell you when it's near it these are all off and the st if you're looking for the reversal on this little tin chart that's what the st is it's st for small tick it's mt for medium tick that's 25 
brick size and it's HT for 50 brick size on the WIC bar. So if you were trying to scan this chart for reversals or this size bar for that early reversal off of these lines, you'd be using the ST, enabling that, load your chart symbols in, and it will run the alerts for you off of these little bars and these inflection points. I actually use this quite often. Now to build this from scratch, I have this chart set to 20 days rather than 600 bars. I tried to do that to keep from going back so far on this small bar, but I want to go back enough days so if you're trading a very low ATR stock, you're going to have a multitude of bars even if it hadn't moved very much. So we got 20 days loaded with the ATS WIC all go set to 10 and then at the bottom we got the do not plot on the plot executions then we have a daily the daily is loaded with 365 days regular trading hours break it in today now the all week bar is set for breaking in today on this chart as well it's not as imperative on this chart to uh, not have the break it in today as it is on the bigger charts so we're going to build one from scratch. We're going to go to new on our menu of our control panel, panel chart. We're going to choose our symbol. It's going to load the one we're looking at now so it'd be faster to load. It's going to come in. It always will come in the last type chart you built. So we're going to go down to our ATS WIC algo. We're set, setting it to a 10 brick. We said we had 20 days. We always use regular trading hours. We're not interested in ticks going on in the middle of the after hour sessions. You use this instrument settings when you're building future charts, unless you only want to see regular trading hours. And when you do a SPY, if you want outside of regular trading hours, I have found the best setting is default 24 by 7 for the SPY, probably for the Qs as well if you're plotting them outside of regular trading hours. Got to go down. The regular trading hours is all the way to the bottom. So we've got our break it in today. We said we had already built in there. Now we're going to add another. That's where it gets tricky. Got to pick, make sure you pick the same symbol. And this is going to be our daily bar. Sure, we're going day one. It'll default 365 days. That's what you want. You want regular trading hours again. At the bottom. Do not plot. I forgot to check that on the other one. And you got it. This is the tricky part. You got to say panel number one. You want it up there with the uh, other panel. I'm going to show you what this looks like if you forget to do that. It'll separate it into two panels. So if you end up with a chart that looks like that, this is trying to load. If you end up with a chart that looks like that, that's what you did wrong. Go back to data series. Go back to your daily. And we want to go find the panel. It's in panel two now, so we'll put on panel one with the other. And another thing you have to do when we're adding this extra data series, we don't need to see the candle. We're just trying to create our inflection points. So you go to your candlestick and choose our STS algo which will take that candle off your chart the big green daily we just saw but the data is still there and one more thing you need to do is uncheck the auto scale on the daily and uncheck the data box on the daily only thing you want in the data box is your main candles. 
So if you will uncheck those two items, because your template doesn't change whatever you've got set in here, it will change your regular trading hours to uh, non-regular trading hours. So set these things like there should be. Apply. Now you've got your chart. And now we're going to go load our template. And remember our template we're working with is the 10... I get the data box out of the way. The 10 bar chart trader. So we're going to load that. As soon as I find my chart I made, I lost it. Here it is. 10 bar chart trader. Load template. 10. Now I actually put some extra information on this. 10 bar chart trader. Ten bar chart trader wick ATS inflection, which is actually what is on the bottom of your chart there, wick ATS inflection. It also uh, uh, it also at the bottom of the chart says daily wick ATS inflection, which going back to your website. TraderMembers.com products, that's what it says in your picture there. So now you have created a chart from scratch, and I'm going to close this out. And uh, thanks for watching our video. Continue to watch your training and education videos. This video is brought to you by Active Trader Setup's Tutoring Reference Series, where we're dissecting the components of each chart and all the indicators that are shown on the charts and how to read them and what they're intended to inform you about. Be sure to watch the complete series on any other chart templates you need information on, as well as be sure to tune in to our trading and training series where we'll be looking at real-time setups on the charts as they progress through the day and you start to learn to recognize how you're applying all these indicators to your trading. We're taking the charts and the indicators and learning how they apply to real-time trading and reading the charts. That's the trading and training series. We're putting that out two to three times a week during the week. And then also on the weekends, we're going to have a weekend uh, chart talk video that goes into uh, many more charts that, that showed up throughout the week. And mainly concentrating on the cloud setups and the ATS inflection charts thanks again for watching our video learn more about our trading package at activetradersetups.com